If you don't believe in climate change, then his math works. But if you know that climate change is a real threat to Canadians and the economy, then we need to act, and that's what we're doing. Now all you have to accept is the fact that his carbon tax will not reduce by one penny the cost of climate change to Canadians. It will not eliminate one flood, one drought, one storm, one anything. His carbon tax literally does nothing to change the weather or the climate. What it does is makes Canadians poor. So will he finally admit that all along he's been misleading Canadians, that he knew he had the data that Canadians pay more and get less and get screwed over by the carbon tax. What is less clear, Mr. Speaker, is how the Conservative Party of Canada plans to grow the economy and create good jobs for the future when they refuse to accept that climate change is real and also provides an opportunity to innovate and grow the economy. Mr. Speaker, not only does page three of the Parliamentary Budget Office report show that when you add the fiscal and economic costs, the net cost above and beyond the rebates is $1,820 per Ontario family with the majority, the vast majority, paying more than they get back. And apparently the Environment Minister didn't get the memo. He let the cat out of the bag and admitted that Canadians would pay more in taxes than they got back in any benefits, yeah, proving that everything this Prime Minister has said on this tax has been false. Why won't he admit what his Environment Minister has already said and say this is a scam? Yeah. We will continue to be there for Canadians. Yeah. Yeah. Used to be in the way of Canadians, Mr. Speaker. He wants to bring in a 41 cent a litre tax on Nova Scotians that he claims will help the environment. Meanwhile, a project that actually would have helped the environment, the Sustainable Marine Project, which would have used tidal energy, the waves of the ocean to generate electricity, that project has been cancelled because the Prime Minister's federal bureaucracy was too slow and incompetent to approve it. Now the company's getting up and leaving. So, how does this sound? Why doesn't he get out of the way of Nova Scotians, let them generate clean electricity, and cancel the carbon tax on their back? Yeah.